Hello everyone. Have you ever eaten almonds? Let us know in the comments how you feel about their taste. Almonds are primarily grown in the U.S. and some countries in the Middle East. In today's video, we'll explore the vast almond fields to see how farmers here cultivate and harvest almonds. The process of planting almond trees usually begins in mid-February, when the seedlings start to bud. Protective covers are used to shield the young trees from stem borers and limit sun exposure. After about two years, almond trees need pruning, which is typically done at the beginning of winter. It usually takes about three to four years from planting to harvest. Almonds are water-intensive plants, so irrigation systems must run regularly. Almond trees typically have a lifespan of 25 to 28 years. But from the 20th year onwards, their yield starts to decline. Almond blossoms usually appear between February and March. From a distance, almond blossoms resemble those of plum or pear trees. During this time, millions of honeybees are brought in to pollinate the flowers, 
The time from flowering to harvest is typically five to six months depending on the climate. Are you impressed by these visuals? Everything here is ready for a new harvest season. This machine shakes the almond trees until all the fruit falls to the ground. The process is quite similar to how olives or cherries are harvested. The almonds are then loaded onto trucks for transport to processing factories. In some Middle Eastern countries, after almonds fall to the ground, they are dried in the sun for about a week before being collected. Meanwhile here, machines quickly handle the almond harvest in larger fields. Because the quantity is so large, almonds are gathered before being sent to the factory. Hundreds of tons of almonds will be transported to factories for processing and packaging.
almonds are carefully sorted to ensure only the highest quality make it through. From here, processing facilities begin crafting a wide range of almond-based products, each tailored to meet the diverse tastes and preferences of consumers around the world. Let's start with whole almonds, those intact, perfect kernels that are a snacking favorite globally. Whether packaged for on-the-go snacks or sold in bulk for baking. Whole almonds are visually appealing and versatile. They can be used in both sweet and savory dishes, making them a kitchen essential. Next, we have sliced or slivered almonds. Think of these as your culinary assistants. Convenient for baking, cooking, and garnishing. These thin, uniform slices distribute almond flavor evenly, enhancing both texture and presentation in your dishes. Now, let's dive into almond flour. Made by finely grinding blanched almonds, this gluten-free alternative has become a favorite in baking. Its nutty flavor and fine texture are perfect for cakes, cookies, and pancakes, making it ideal for those on gluten-free or low-carb diets. Then, there's almond butter, a creamy delight created by grinding roasted almonds. This nutritious spread has become a household staple offering a rich, smooth texture and flavor. Use it on sandwiches, toast, or as an ingredient in smoothies and desserts. It's a versatile and healthy alternative to traditional spreads. With the rise of plant-based diets, almond milk has gained immense popularity. By blending almonds with water and straining the mixture, you get a dairy-free and lactose-free alternative, often fortified with vitamins and minerals. Almond milk is a great option for those with dietary restrictions or preferences, being low in calories and packed with nutrients, all while avoiding dairy intolerance. Next up is almond oil, extracted from almond kernels. This multitasking oil is useful both in the kitchen and in the beauty industry. Cooking, it adds a subtle, nutty flavor to salads and dishes. In cosmetics, it's cherished for its moisturizing properties, making it a common ingredient in skin and hair care products. Finally, let's talk about packaging. Whether it's your favorite almond products in consumer-friendly sizes or bulk packaging for commercial use, they're sealed in bags, canisters, or vacuum-sealed containers to protect them from moisture, light, and air, preserving their quality. For products prone to oxidation, there's a special process called modified atmosphere packaging, which adjusts oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen levels to extend shelf life and keep the products fresh. As these almond products make their way to store shelves, labeling is key. Producers ensure clear and accurate labels that include nutritional content, allergen warnings, and storage instructions. Transparency about sourcing and processing is always a priority, so consumers can make informed choices. What do you think of the almond cultivation and harvesting process we've just shown? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you and see you in the next video.